I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand concavity and points of inflection. Now these terms they help us to sketch the graph of the function or at times find more characteristics about the function. So let me first sketch a graph and then we will talk about concavity and uh, points of inflection. Let us say we have a graph of the function which is kind of concave down. Let's say this is the portion which is concave down, right? And then at this point it goes like concave up, right? So like kind of like this. And then again it decreases kind of like this. So let us say we have a graph kind of like this. Now in this portion, what do you notice? You notice that from let's consider from point A to point point B, right? So so from point A to B, if I draw a tangent line, if I draw a tangent line, then my graph is under the tangent line. That means this portion is concave down, right? So we have concave down, since my tangent is above the graph. But as soon as I reach uh, the point beyond B, so at B it is kind of zero, right? So it adds B it is kind of zero. Do you see that? But after B, my tangent line is under the graph. The graph is over the tangent line, right? So so what we notice here is that it is concave up, right? So it is concave up from let us say B to C, right? So so let's say we'll only consider up to this point and that portion is for you to analyze. So if you consider the graph between A, B and C, what we really notice is that from A to B it is concave down and from B to C it is concave up. And simple test is just draw a tangent line. So if the tangent line is under the graph then it is concave up, right? So it is concave up when x is between uh, b to c, right? So, and it is concave down when x is between a to b. Perfect. Now, what happens at point b? That is kind of important, right? So at b, we say that the concavity changes. So let me write concavity changes. at B, right? So that is what happens. Concavity changes at B and this point B is called point of inflection and this point is called point of inflection. I hope the concept is clear, right? So point of inflection is a point where the concavity changes. You get the idea. So you could see now we'll summarize what is point of inflection? Let me write this as point of inflection. Okay, so point of inflection is a point where concavity changes. So this is a point at which concavity changes, right? So that is kind of important, right? Second, what you also notice at this particular point is that the second derivative at this point second derivative is is zero but before or after so that becomes kind of second derivative is zero at at b right since it is kind of flat right it's neither concave down nor concave up so the second derivative will be zero at this point but if you test on either side right then then you see Concavity changes means that the second derivative changes from positive to negative or from negative to positive, right? So that is what it is. So at the point of inflection, you'll always notice that there is change in the sign of second derivative. It either changes from positive to negative or from negative to positive. So that is kind of very important to understand. And another thing which you notice here is that the point at which the concavity changes, at that point you could have either 
zero or at times the highest rate of change for example this part of the graph is concave down and if I change the concavity here kind of like this do you see that here at this point the the tangent as you approach this point becomes almost vertical correct so at this point you may have highest slope or highest gradient so at times at point of inflection you may also get maximum or highest uh, value of first derivative correct so so at this point either you get the highest value or if it is changing from positive to negative you may get f dash x as equals to zero so you could get both the conditions as far as the first derivative is concerned okay however the second derivative will always be zero at point of inflection i hope this point is well taken we'll take a few examples and then verify uh, whether a point is a point of inflection or not and this strategy will also help us to sketch graph of functions thank you and all the best